This is MB Now, and here are your news on web. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte remains unbothered by the International Criminal Court authorizing the full inquiry on his infamous drug war, reiterating that the court does not have jurisdiction over the Philippine affairs. Presidential spokesman Hariroki made the statement after a pre-trial chamber of the ICC greenlit the said probe, citing a reasonable basis to believe that crimes against humanity had been committed in the course of the anti-legal drugs campaign. In his briefing today, September 16, the president had no reaction when he was informed of the recent development concerning his drug war which he had highlighted in his pre-recorded address for the past two weeks. According to Roque, the ICC can do what they want to do but their probe will not result in anything. Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Salvador Panelo stressed in a statement that the ICC had no jurisdiction over the Philippines, especially since the country withdrew from the Rome Statute in 2019. He also believed that the ICC is being utilized as a political and propaganda apparatus by those who will do anything to dethrone Duterte from his seat. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte hoped the government would be able to recruit more healthcare workers and allied health workers as the country continued to address the increasing number of COVID-19 cases, saying the pay is actually good. Duterte made the statement after vaccines are Carlito Galvez Jr. reported to him on Wednesday that many hospitals have been suffering from the lack of personnel while the number of people being admitted because of COVID-19 continues to increase. In his pre-recorded public address aired this morning, September 16, the president thought that they could recruit more health workers to join the government if they think that a good salary is waiting for them. However, the president assured health workers that the government will work on increasing their salaries to get them to stay amid the ongoing crisis and to hire more medical professionals. On Monday, it was reported that volunteer doctors at the Philippine General Hospital decided to not renew their contracts, further emphasizing the institution's staffing crisis. Rain showers and thunderstorms may affect parts of Visayas and Mindanao in the next several hours according to Pag-asa. The State Weather Bureau said the low-pressure area embedded in the Intertropical Convergence Zone was lost spotted at 135 kilometers east-northeast of G1 Eastern Zamar. State meteorologists said that two weather systems are currently affecting Palawan, Visayas, and Mindanao. Cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms may be experienced over Visayas, Mindanao, and the Bicol region due to the combined effects of the LPA and the ITZZ. Metro Manila and the rest of the country may have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to the ITZZ and localized thunderstorms. Pagasa said the LPA has a slim chance of developing into a tropical cyclone. Over 26,000 minors have already registered for COVID-19 vaccination in the city of Manila. Based on data gathered by the Manila Public Information Office from September 5 to September 16, the city has recorded 26,630 registrants aged 12 to 17 years old. Children 2 to 17 years old can either register themselves under their parents' account in the family tab or create a separate registration. Manila Mayor Francisco Esco Moreno de Magoso said the opening of registration to minors in his preparation for the national government green light for their vaccination. The mayor said the experts have approved the use of Moderna and Pfizer for children aged 12 to 17. Drinkers in Los Angeles will need to be vaccinated against COVID-19 starting next month, authorities said on Wednesday as mandates spread across the United States. Bars and nightclubs in LA County will be required to check that patrons have had the shot in the same way they demand proof of age according to health department. The requirement will include sporting events such as baseball and American football games as well as at theme parks like Universal Studios Hollywood. Masks are already mandatory in most indoor public settings in LA County and some outdoor ones. San Francisco meanwhile announced last month that proof of vaccination would be required for indoor dining and entertainment venues while Party City New Orleans soon followed suit. For the first time in 74 years, the Miss Ireland beauty pageant crowned its first black winner. 26-year-old medical scientist and medical frontliner Pamela Uba said that it feels amazing to be the first black winner in Miss Ireland. Uba, her parents, and three siblings moved to Ireland from South Africa when she was 7 years old. She will represent Ireland at the Miss World beauty pageant in Puerto Rico in December. Filipino star Inigo Pascual is now a certified international actor. This after it was announced that Pascual will join the cast of Monarch, a musical drama. 
The Monarch, a one-hour drama, is a Texas-sized multi-generational musical drama about America's first family of country music. It stars Susan Sarandon as Dottie Cantrell Roman and Anne Friel who will play Nikki Roman. Pasquale will play Ace Grayson, the adopted son of Nikki Roman who dreams of becoming a country star but faces some challenges along the way. The Monarch will debut mid-season for Fox on January 30 and the series is also set to feature original music and covers. Tokyo Olympics gold medalist Hedrin Diaz and fellow Olympian Elrin Ann Ando are expected to compete in the World Weightlifting Championship set this December in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. The two Olympians will lead an 11-man roster for the December 7-17 tournament which also serves as the start of the qualification for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Diaz will compete in the 55kg category in the women's division, the same category she participated in in the Tokyo Olympics. Ando, meanwhile, will see action in the 59kg category. And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.